Wells back door. Miller lays it up and missed it, but gets his own miss. And we're tied at 66. They've been beat multiple times on back door plays. They overhelp, so the back door has been open a lot tonight. Timeout Mississippi State. Just a two and a half second differential between the shot and the game clock. It's right here. Don't even think this was a specific play. Emmanuel Miller did a great job. Whenever you see your the back of your defender's head, always cut, always move. Right there, Shaquille Moore lost his man. It's into Davis. Right now, if you're Mississippi State, whatever you do, you have to get the last shot. You cannot allow TCU to be able to get the last shot. You have to shoot the ball under five to get the last shot. Five-game losing streak. Their last win on January 7th. Davis fires, rims off, and Wells pulls it in. A chance for TCU, floats it. No good, and we're going to overtime in Starkville. You know, Chucky, I don't love that shot from Deshaun Davis. Tolu Smith controls, but Peavy has it, hands to Wells, and that is picture-perfect start for the Horn Frogs. And Micah Peavy just went after the ball like a grown man right there. Two hands, great awareness to find Shahade. That's an easy two points. Smith. Getting position here. They bring the double. Moore for three. Got it! Shaquille Moore puts Mississippi State on top. And we're seeing Mississippi State be able to knock down perimeter shots like they have not done this season consistently. Wells bounce pass. Jacoby Coles. Holes on the drive, three to shoot. Wells pump fakes, fades away, blocked by Matthews. Big time defensive possession. This is where Cam Matthews is elite. Great shot blocker, explosive, good athlete, can really defend. His help defense is terrific. He leads them on the season with 18 blocks now. Now he's trying to give him an even bigger lead. But tip by ball right back to Matthews. Moore back to back threes. Oh, baby. This is not a three-point shooting team, but Shaquille Moore with back-to-back -back triples. Peavy fades away, does not get the roll. Chris Jans wants him to slow things up. Davis away from the screen, push off maybe, yes, an offensive foul called on Deshaun Davis. Uh, Shaquille Moore struggled last game, but tonight he has hit some timely threes. When he's playing like this, when he's shooting the three, when Deshaun Davis is shooting the three, this Mississippi State team is dangerous. Just 5 of 22 from 3 before those last two went down. TCU desperately needs a response. Good close out there on O'Bannon. Still takes the 3. Rims off. Smith rebounds. 12 rebounds for Tolu Smith to go with 25 points. Smith 
He's going to need an ice bath after this game. He has been working inside. They have been physical with him. Matthews lost it, and they get a whistle on Shahade Wells. One and one for Cameron Matthews, a 66% free throw shooter on the season. Misses. And a whistle. And a lane violation called against TCU. And yeah, those are the plays that, as a veteran team, you could not have. A lane violation, four-point game, two minutes to go in overtime. You cannot have those mental lapses right now. Front end again. He misses again. But Jeffries fighting for it. O'Bannon comes up with a big rebound. Emmanuel Miller in transition. Blocked off the glass by Smith. Mississippi State will happily milk the clock. Into Smith. Cole's guarding. Five to shoot. Davis, mid-range, got it! Deshaun Davis with a big-time shot! O'Bannon, gotta have it, and he does. Big shot there from Chuck O'Bannon. They've been in a lot of these games. They just haven't been able to find themselves on the right side of them. And they take care of the ball here. Maybe get one more bucket with a minute to play. Trying to go to Tolu Smith. Good help there from Wells. Davis lobs it over. Smith with a nice finish. And a beautiful feed from Davis. John Davis led the Pac-12 last year in assist. He is a very capable playmaker. Ball misses. Rebound Jeffries. And TCU's got a foul. And they do get Cam Matthews. Still the one and one for the final time. line he missed the front end last time there was a lane violation so he took it again and missed and cannot get the roll TCU needs a basket quickly down five you have to go quick whatever you do you have to go quick ball throws it up and he's gonna have two free throws coming up I'll take that with the stop the clock stopped at 28.7 Leading TCU with 16 points. Seventy-two percent free throw shooter misses the first. Make or miss, Chuck. You have to foul as soon as they get the ball in bounds. the second that guarantees if you're fouling here that it will be a two possession game at the worst referee's looking for help here into Matthews again Wells tried to sneak up for a steal but Matthews has two free throws 
this is what we expect today. We've seen some unexpected things in the SEC Big 12 Challenge today. Oklahoma over Alabama big time. West Virginia upsetting Auburn, although I think we know Bob Huggins seems pretty good. This one, I think we felt like this was going to be a close game. Yes, the 11 next to TCU, that's a really good team. But Mississippi State defensively is so good. We knew Eddie Lampton not being here would be a factor, and we've been treated. Yeah, both teams extremely competitive. They match up well. It's in a high-level game. And back in for PV defense for offense there. Matthews hits them both. Six-point lead for Mississippi State. TCU got to go quickly. Ball steps back. Three ball. No good. Rebound Matthews. They foul him. And Mississippi State looks like they'll snap a five-game losing streak. The SEC chance. out of Humphrey Coliseum. Matthews gets the free throw and that should do it. TCU after dismantling Oklahoma was looking to jump into the top 10 with a win on the road today but there are some concerns right now if you're a Horn Frog fan with the health of this team specifically Mike Miles. And on the other side, Mississippi State. Is this the start of something different in the back half of this season for them? Can they get going in the SEC? All right, the biggest difference is that their guards were just able to make shots finally. And the defense has been elite all year, but they're finally able to make shots. And all the practice and the work that Chris Jans told us that they've been putting in has finally translated to gameplay. D.J. Jeffries going to the line with 12 seconds to play. Mississippi State heads to South Carolina on Tuesday. They host Missouri and LSU back-to-back -back after that. This is a tough team, great defensive team, and extremely well coached. And that's one thing. If you talk about Chris Jans, I texted Dane Bradshaw earlier today, said, hey, what do you think about Mississippi State? And one of the last things he said was, they're well coached. I mean, Chris yeah. Jans can straight up coach. That's the reputation around everybody in college basketball. They know one thing, if Chris Jans going to do anything, he's going to be able to coach. His teams are always going to be able to, to defend, and they're going to be tough as nails. Ball inside. There's a late whistle there. At this point, they're just trying to keep our buddies in Manhattan, Kansas, off the airwaves right now. We'll go to Rich Hollenberg and Chris Vitola at the conclusion of this one. Mississippi State going to keep the SEC alive in the grand scheme of things with this win. for a quick steal. Can't imagine TCU's going to foul again. And they won't. And Mississippi State snaps a five-game losing streak. They haven't won since January 7th. But they get a top 15 win over the number 11 ranked TCU Horn Frogs. Well, for King McClure, my partner, our producer Mike Dressman, and our entire fantastic crew here in Starkville. I'm Chucky Kemp. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Mississippi State.